Hi, yo, people, and welcome to Let's Play Zone of the Enders Part 1. Yeah, I'm playing the HD collection, and I will eventually get to playing second one, but of course, since it's number one, I'm going to start off with the first game in the series, because, uh, yeah, I've always enjoyed this series. Like, I've played one and two a couple years ago, and I heavily fell in love with both games. Especially two. Two is just fantastic. But, uh, yeah, that's why I decided to start doing a playthrough for it.
Right, so for this uh, video series, like the playthrough for Zone of the Unders 1, this is basically one big experiment on how I edit videos, basically. So yeah, this is why it's taking precedence over other games and opening. I'll stop right now. So to summarize what I was saying, uh, basically if my editing technique for this video is successful, I am basically going to be switching over to what I'm doing for this video. And I will be basically uh, uploading stuff a lot faster because basically I'm trying to find ways to cut down time on how long it takes to actually upload a video. So if I succeed, this is going to be a very good uh, thing to happen. But we'll have to see. But anyway, that, that really has nothing to do with the game itself, so let's just focus on the game now. and I will secure target Alpha after we enter through the colony shaft. You go in through the skylight and slash and night raid. I'll carry out diversionary tactics. After that, you will confirm target Bravo is secure. Roger. Viola. Yes, sir. Don't let your personal feelings intrude. Over and out. Well, it's time to play. Right, so from the very first cutscene, we basically established the bad guys. And here's our hero now.
boy of Edmunds. Now, what will you do? Will you escape all by yourself? Or will you punch me out to save your friends? I guess you have to suffer. If they're gone, at least they will be. I've taken control of Sector 03 by driving away the flies that scourge our Earth. Still no reaction from Target Bravo. I've managed to get inside the main shaft. Don't forget, Viola. If the target is still alive, you are to withdraw. No, I'll just destroy it. Don't underestimate them, or you'll end up dead. That's what I'm waiting for. combat operation. Alright, and so yeah, due to that cutscene, we somehow ended up in the Jesu Team machine itself, which... Actually, they haven't even announced the name yet, but yeah, this thing is called Jesu so... Yeah... And here's our first enemy of the game. Very simple, easy enemy, which I'm kind of just messing around right now. Oh yeah, not really a threat. But I'm gonna go ahead and kill it now. And there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Did I win? Stand to you. I have confirmed that the target has ceased all functions. You are correct. You did win. Who are you? I am Ada the advanced battle computer of this Jehuti. I detect that you are not the frame runner who was scheduled to pilot the orbital frame. No, I'm not. 
I just ran in here while trying to escape. Whoa! I have detected several targets exterior to the hangar. Unable to confirm the exact number from this position. Move outside following the direction of the arrow. How do I do that? Do you want me to explain how to manipulate the frame? Please! Roger. Alright, yeah, uh, you basically have to go through the tutorial of the game, the game force, well, it doesn't actually force you, like, I could just end the training right now, but I am gonna be doing this off screen, so, uh, yeah, see ya back in a little bit. Alright, I am done with the, the training. This is the end of the training session. Yeah, I was basically just refamiliarizing myself with Let the game. Let us get the Metatron ore from the nearest item box. Metatron? What is... It is an essential element of Jehuti. It is needed to automatically repair the body. Before going out, you must first get the Metatron ore. Yeah, basically the Metatron ore is how you recover health in this game. That's basically what it is. And something to note is that this is a very early PS2 game. Like, I believe it was, like, very close to the launch when the one that first came out. And, you know, for a launch game, it did a lot of cool stuff. Like, you know, like, riding around the rails when you're, like, right down ground level. Even having go so far as to add the little ore. detail of... Alright, fine. We have obtained the Metatron Ore. Completed automatic repairs to the body. Now, following the arrow as indicated, move outside. Yeah, basically the little detail that of how you're uh, scraping the bottom of the floor whenever you're doing this. It, you know, for a very early PS2 game, this is really awesome. It's just really easy to be impressed by this game because it just did so much right. And the second one just takes this and like make uh, amplifies the awesomeness by like a thousand. But yeah, this in its own right is a good game as well. So yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun to play or to replay for me. But yeah, I'm just excited to show this game off to people. Yeah. We have shot down the enemy. And, whoa. Alright. But yeah, the gameplay for the first one is pretty simplistic and pretty much the same thing over and over. Like, that's probably one problem with it. It definitely just redoes things over and over. Because it's mostly just fighting the same enemies over and over. There's not much to it beyond that. I have detected a Type C orbital frame in front of our position. It is different from the ones we have previously experienced. Please be careful. <laughs> I found you. Get ready. Oh, wait, I believe we can win this fight. I'm supposed to do a set amount of damage, which is pretty hard because she is a very good fighter. So, yeah, getting a hit off her is not that easy because you can see she's parrying me a lot. Or, I think pairs a word. But, yeah, definitely not somebody to underestimate. And spoilers, she's. Evacuate now. Gonna come back. What? Are you crazy? It's just a kid. I can take care of him even without weapons. I repeat, evacuate now. You have other things to do, don't you? You embarrassed me this time, so look forward to the next time. See you again, boy. The target has disappeared. I can detect no sign of vital activity. You mean that everyone is dead? That is correct. Good work, sir. This is Noman to all units. Report your current status. Slash here. I've arrived at Sector 03. Now start destroying the nearby buildings. This is Night Raid. 
I've also arrived at Sector 05. Should I just wait here? Yeah, that's correct. Viola, report your current status. No need for that. You know what happened. <laughs> Don't be so harsh. Your turn will come. Just be patient. <laughs> Your mental condition has reached a level of minus eight. Your combat operation will suffer substantially at this level. I advise you to take some medication to stabilize your condition. I repeat, your mental condition is declining. The message is being received from a commercial broadcast. I shall patch it through. This is Atlantis. Whoever is aboard Jehuti, can you read me? The unidentified person aboard Jehuti, do you read me? Oh, I can understand how you must feel. Listen to me, boy. I saw everything you did on my monitor. I also know that you're just a juvenile civilian, and you've done all of this. But I didn't have any other choice. I was so scared. I couldn't help it. I'm not accusing you of anything. You proved you can operate the system. Listen, I must ask you to do something for us. Can you deliver that orbital frame to our base? What? We are a civilian transportation company, and we've been asked to carry that orbital frame, Jehuti, to Mars. Didn't you see any of our people in the vicinity of Jehuti? I don't know. Alan must have been there. He's the frame runner we sent there. I said I don't know, didn't I? By the time I got there, everyone was dead. I see. He was supposed to operate that frame. Now we need your help. I know you can do it. Please, help us. Of course, I'm talking business. We'll pay you for your troubles. Enough to allow you to live anywhere. Earth, Mars, anywhere at all. Please. No, I don't want to. Listen. No, you listen. I could get attacked again. And who the hell are you anyways? Why do you want this machine so much? You fought well. We're just asking for a little more of your help. Please. I suppose you want me to kill again. Well... I want nothing more to do with any of you. Go kill or whatever you want. Just leave me out of it. I've got to be going. Then a lot more people will die. What? Everybody will die. Your friends, your family, every single one of them. We can't let them get a hold of Jehuti. If they do, it will be the end of this colony. No, it may be the end of civilization as we know it. You must. Please, help us. Move it, Leo! Help, Leo! You say I can, but how? I can't drive this thing. Yes, you can. I saw you do it, and I know you can do it again. Leo! Please. Help us. All right. I'll do it just this one time, but that's all I'll do. Okay, that's all we ask. All right, if you say so. Thank you. But I want you to remember one thing. I will never help you kill anybody. Maybe killing is all right for you people, but it's not with me. I understand. So, we have a business deal. The person in charge is headed to you right now. I can't get through to him, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. Oh, what's your name? Leo. Okay, Leo. I'm Elena Weinberg, second in charge of Atlantis. Just call me Elena. I can really trust you, can't I? Well, we don't kill indiscriminately, as you seem to think. Okay, I'll see you later. I will explain the mission plan. The mission is to transport this Jehuti to Mars in preparation for a battle on Mars. First, we need to rendezvous with the civilian freighter Atlantis and leave the colony of Antilia. However, Jehuti has just had an overhaul 
and therefore has only minimum system capabilities. Genity's capabilities will depend on how many function modules we can install. First of all, we need to transplant the necessary modules from the local server in this area. Let me indicate the local server with a marker. You are to proceed to that location. And right, and the modules she's referring to is basically weapons. The weapons you get throughout the game. We have obtained the program. We have obtained the scouting mode module. It enables us to fight against more than one enemy at a time. A lock-on related operation has been newly added. Let me bring up a window to explain its operation. Right, and some more tutorials. I am gonna be doing this off-screen yet again, and... Uh, yeah, it's basically gonna be the end for this video, so... Uh, yeah, start of next video will be basically when I'm done with the tutorial, so... That's the end of this video, so farewell.